Okay, so oh, today we're chasing purses. Yes, today we're chasing purses. <laughs> and they call you saw these this, these purses on you know oh. the fashion show that cost a lot of money. And yes, you show us how to do it. So our very own Dr. JJ sent me this email, and she's like, um, I feel like you could make this with this photo attached of this gorgeous Dolce Gabbana bag. This is it right there. But doesn't it sort of feel like a vintage scarf? Yeah, when you it look does. at it, it that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. Um, this particular bag. Is twenty one hundred dollars. Oh. Cameron, at your Absolutely age, beautiful. at sixteen, there's nothing yeah. about you vintage. Just so you know. Oh, yes. I don't you. think you're too young. Save to all of your yeah. clothes. Yeah, don't no, because they're fabulous, vintage and eventually they'll be vintage. Vintage is in now, though. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. is. It oh, is. Never it is. And that's the great thing about this is that because a lot of us have vintage items and we have scarves and things we've held on to over the years, we have the materials to make this. Um, and if not, you can always run off to a, a Salvation Army or a Goodwill mm -hmm. and look in the bin of scarves. That's what you did here, right? Exactly what I did with all of these. So this is really easy to do. Um, I got started early this morning, so take a look. Okay. So this is my scarf. I just folded it right in half, and I folded it in half again, and that's always so you know you cut once, basically. And I just decided it was way too wide as it was, so I cut off the excess on an angle there, so it created kind of a tapered effect. And then I curved the bottom, because that bag looked like it had a curved little bottom. That's actually just the shape of my bag right there. Wow. That's so see, it. watch, when I'm folding it, that's the bag. I'm just going to sew these side seams closed. That's and that's it. the construction of it, exactly. That's it. Dare I so say I could do this? You could do this. Dare you might. See? And the wonderful thing about this is you're utilizing a lot of the seams that already exist in the scarf itself. So by folding it in half, the bottom of the scarf is closed. I'm just sewing these side seams closed. And the top is clean finished because that was the edge of our scarf. So it here, seems easy. Oh, uh, honestly. But um, yeah. is right. <laughs> so, the, and here's a couple more that I, that I made. And so basically, like I said, this right here, see this bottom? This is the middle of our scarf. This was the middle of it. Yeah. So I don't need a, a bottom seam because I folded it in half. Yeah. Right here, this was the edge of my entire scarf, so I don't need a top seam. So really, it's those two side seams. I That's see. the construction I of see. our That's back. It. Easy. And now okay. we just put on our chain. So you can find your chain at like a, a you know Joann's or any fabric store. And we're gonna add these little tabs. Will you cut for me just like a little strip okay. right along there? Now, you can see I created this little tab, and I did it in the thread in white. You would do it in red, but I wanted you guys to see it. So that little tab, and I looped it through. So all that you need to do is you have all this excess fabric because you cut it off of your scarf because your scarf was too large mm -hmm. to begin with. That's perfect. And then what you'll do is you'll take this little piece, and you'll use one for this side and one for this side. So what you would do is you would just cut it in half, and... You could fold it in half, you could press it, you might not need to depending on the size of your chain, and you would stitch it right down there. So if you can see that little tab, that's the edge of my initial piece. So I put it like this, and I stitched it, uh -huh. and then I looped my two pieces, see? These little two guys, I just put it through. Through the chain? Through the chain. chain. And here's the rest of it, right? There's the long strip. Yeah. Now I just fold my strip down, and I stitch it. Uh -huh. And now I've got my little tabs. I have a question though. You said vintage. Oh, are you finished doing that? Or are you just going to say? No, no, I can answer while I. Okay, so. we just. So if you, you say vintage, yes. right? I go out. I think vintage. I go to a secondhand store. People probably get away because the scarves are worn or they're wearing out yeah. or what happens in that because then I don't want stuff to tear through the purse, right? Yes. So if you have a, a scarf that's really delicate, like a really delicate um, silk or something like that that you're afraid is too delicate to hold the belongings of your bag, you're going to want to use a lining. Mm -hmm. Now, if you do a lining, this is the one that I made here. It's, ident it's an identical twin to this. So you're going to want to lay this one on top of your fabric. Cut Again, at the same time. cut at the same time, use your bottom as your fold, mm. do it exactly the same, except when you're taking your seam allowance, give yourself a quarter inch larger. That way it's just a tad smaller than your actual bag and it will fit inside. Okay. Okay. okay? Now when you put it inside, you're not going to flip it inside out like you normally would because the clean finished edge exactly. is what you want to see. Right. Right? Yeah. So you're going to now go like this and put it inside, lining up your edges to your edges. Now the way that I would really recommend doing this, this would come before you apply your straps. In re oh, yes. Normally if yeah. we had done this. Yeah. And I would pin the sides together just like this and then just fold it. And then mm -hmm. stitch that down. And look how nice and crisp your top will be. That It'll be I folded like that on the inside. 
and you'll stitch all the way around and you'll have a perfect lining that won't touch the outside delicate part of your so, scarf. So let me, let me just say this. How dare they? What do you mean? Who are they? How dare they? Okay. And what have they done? They have charged you how much for this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, it's twenty one hundred dollars, and it's Dolce and Gabbana, and it's fabulous. And I don't it's Dolce care. You can buy a Dolce and Gabbana scarf. And then you, yes, you know. I know, I know, and mm -hmm. and it's no. You know, what if I don't want to cut up my scarves? What do, what do I do? So this is a really easy no sew option, um, and I'm going to show. I don't. If we have the time, you get, wave me down if you want me to shush. All that you do. This is pillow stuffing. BT Dubs. Oh, we're waving down. We'll try to we'll try to show this either on the Facebook page <laughs> yeah. or right. in clothes or something. But how much does it cost? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. That's why I said, how dare they? How dare they? How Mark. dare they? <laughs> they should do that. More nice fashion that hacks from Abby. Orly. You can follow her on her Instagram. Go to our Facebook page. She's going to show you how to do this with the, I guess it's the no-sew option, really.